Right here. Down. Ronan, you ready to get back to work today? Absolutely. Uh, laying out what the plywood sheets are going to be on the left side of the desk. So, as you can hear, Jim's in the back, but we're uh, going to start in this area right here. For those building a bus, if you already did the spray foam, what we did on the other side, we're going to do here. You can cut back the spray foam, find the rivet holes, and be able to reference that as your vertical for whatever piece of wood you're putting in. So, that's what we're going to do there. Go check on Jim. There's Kobe's amazing. Okay, you can go outside. So with him, I have to wait two hours after he eats to let him run around. How's it looking over here? Looking really good. It's like a very complex piece. Yeah, that's just how we build. That's how we roll, right? Yeah. Complex pieces. Yep. last piece yep. of the bus besides piecing in back there. In the rear, going to be piecing in everything, the wood that's left over. The original plan or what we were planning on doing was just using the leftover pieces for the cabinetry, but being that this is, you know, going to take a couple cuts to get this in, we could go to the, the store, buy a new full sheet, put it in here, and there'd just be a lot of wasted material because you have to cut around the bay, uh, the engine bay here. But if we just take the pieces, cut them up into smaller pieces, the scrap, scrap wood, because it could be used for cabinetry, we decided to go this route, or I decided to rather, uh, just because it'll be wasting less wood. It might not look fantastic in the, like, 100% in the bedroom, but it's gonna be at 95. You know, there might be some seams in there, uh, but you know, might be able to cover that up. I'm going to be probably doing the same type of wall covering, uh, which is just a stain, a pickle stain. Just be white uh, with the, with the, what's it called? With the grain, that's what I'm looking for, with the grain showing through. And we'll just do that back in the bedroom as well. I'm not going to paint it any other color that I know of right now, but things change so much. Who knows? That's what we're working on right now. Uh, Ronan and Jim are making cuts right now.
Men oh, at geez. work. Look at the anguish on their faces. Your joy. Life is a joy. It is. Life is a joy. What a joy. On. Right here. Uh, right there. You like? Love it. Speech, speaking of like it or love it, you getting more ice cream today? Ah! <laughs> hey, you made my blood sugar go down. I can't complain. As long as Debbie lets you, huh? <laughs> Awesome. Looks good. What do you think, Ronan? I like it. Um, most of it's in on both sides. The only thing that's left is a little piece in on the back. these pieces on the back. So Chris, what do you think now? How's the bus feel? Feels more like a home. It's crazy. I'm excited to uh, continue this momentum. It's like the last 10 months have been leading up to this point to get this done to make it the actual inside cabin so it's it's good it feels really good it's just it, I think I mentioned before in the video it's more of a nervous feeling to make sure we're doing everything right because I don't want to come back and do any of this ever again